Hey folks, uh, we had some proofs, our first proofs in the class, and I was out when my substitute um, uh, taught these, and I'm sure he did a fine job, but uh, I want to put these online just, just because, you guys. So this is uh, numbers 13, 15, and 17 on pages 685 and 686, okay? Now, I know what you're thinking, you guys. I don't like proofs already. Well, they don't go away, you guys. They'll be for the rest of the year. So I, I, I think you guys can do these, but don't put up a wall and say, I don't do proofs. I don't understand proofs, because then I can't help you. So just, just at least be optimistic with yourself and think, okay, I'm going to try. And if you try, I promise I'll get you to be more comfortable with them. But but please don't say, I can't do proofs, and then because then I can't help you. I need you to just baby step. Okay, and if you kind of can go, yeah, sort of see what he's talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm great because we just started these. I know everybody hates them already, so let's just try, you guys. Okay, this just says write a plan for proof for each theorem. Okay, so if two angles are congruent, then their complements are congruent. Okay, so, so that's what we're trying to prove. If angle ABC is congruent to DEF, then I want to prove to you in a paragraph sort of form, that the complement of ABC is congruent to the complement of DEF. All right, well, let's talk about complement. That means 90, not 180. It means 90. Okay, so if we have angle ABC, then the complement of ABC is the other part of the 90. So it's 90 minus the ABC. And similarly, the complement of DEF is going to be 90 minus DEF, okay? So if I can show you guys that uh, the complement of DEF is also equal to 90 minus ABC, then, that's, if, then that means that this complement equals this complement. And that's what we're going to try to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we know that the complement of ABC is the rest of 90, so 90 minus ABC. And similarly, DEF is 90 minus DEF, okay? What I'm going to show you is that DEF is also equal to 90 minus ABC, which is the complement of ABC, okay? So if it equals the complement of ABC, then the complements are congruent. Okay, let's get busy. I know you love it already. So our goal is to show either uh, ABC... Uh, the complement, I'm sorry, the complement of ABC is going to, uh, is equal to this, and then, or the complement, I should, I should insert the word complement right here, you guys, I'm going to do that right now, show that the complement, the word complement should go right, show that either the complement of ABC or the complement of, uh, so this complement should go right uh, sorry about that, that either the complement of ABC equals uh, 90 minus DEF or the complement of DEF, so that's going to go, that word also goes right there, okay, right here, the complement of DEF equals 90 minus ABC, okay? I hope I didn't confuse you. So that's my, what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you that the complement of DEF equals 90 minus ABC. And so when it equals 90 minus ABC, that's the complement of ABC. So I'm going to show you that the complement of DEF is going to equal the complement of ABC, which we know is 90 minus ABC. Okay, let's see if that helps. All right, so it's given, you guys, it's given that ABC is congruent to DEF, okay? And we know the complement of uh, a, uh, DEF is 90 minus DEF. So what we're going to do is substitute in ABC for DEF right there. Okay, so here we go. Substitution right there. Okay, we're going to plug it in right there. So, so the, uh, the complement of DEF, is instead of it being 90 minus DEF, we're going to substitute in ABC for that DEF. So the complement of DEF is 90 minus ABC. And since 90 minus ABC is the complement of ABC, then the complement of DEF is going to be equal to the complement of ABC. Okay, so those complements are congruent. Okay, wasn't that complementary fun? I knew you'd love it. Okay, so this was number 15. They filled most of it in, so we're uh, completing the two-column proof for the theorem. If two angles are congruent, then their supplements are congruent. Okay, well, we just did the complements, so this is pretty much the same thing. Okay, so it's given that ABC is congruent to DEF. Okay, so why is ABC the measure of the supplement equal to uh, 180 minus ABC? Well, that's just definition of supplementary angles. Okay, so definition of the supplement of an angle. Similarly, 
the measure of the supplement of DEF is 180 minus DEF. It's just the rest of 180. So this is going to go right here. These are the same thing. Definition of the supplement of an angle. I'm in the office, you guys, so you can hear them walkie-talkies and people talking and stuff in the background. It's my prep period, and someone teaches in my classroom on my prep period, and I just I don't have any other time to do this. So here I am in the office all by myself talking to myself. Okay, so right here, this says, if two angles are congruent, then their measures are equal. So since these two angles are congruent, then the measure of angle ABC equals the measure of angle DEF. That's all they want right there, okay? Don't get too tied up on that. These guys are interchangeable, okay? Definition of complementary or equalness, okay? Something like that, okay? All right, so here... So what we're going to do is substitution property instead of having uh, right here since uh, ABC equals DEF. So I'm going to take this DEF out right here and substitute in an ABC. So this ABC is going to go where that DEF is, and that's what this says right here. So the measure of angle DEF equals 180 minus the measure of angle ABC. Substitution property of equality, okay? All right, so the measure of the supplement of uh, angle ABC equals the measure of the angle of the supplement of DEF, okay? So here's the, the angle DEF. The supplement of DEF is 180 minus DEF, okay? So, uh, right here we got uh, uh, DEF also equaling the 180 minus ABC, which is this right here, 180 minus ABC. So that means that the measure of the supplement of ABC equals the measure of the supplement of DEF, okay? And we just substituted there, okay? We're substituting that piece of information in right there, okay? So the measure of the supplement of ABC equals the measure of the supplement of DEF because they both now equal 180 minus ABC. Okay, so the supplement of angle ABC is congruent to the supplement of angle DEF. Okay, and then there's that one. All right, I know you're loving it right now. Let's do number 17. Okay, we asked you guys to do a two-column proof on this in our, in our lesson for, uh, the other day. Okay, so today's Monday, so this would have been on Friday. Okay, two-column proof. There it is right there. Always, 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 your first step of the two-column proof is the given. Okay, now we did one so similar to this. Instead, I think it was we did one and three uh, in last uh, in the last lesson. We did one and three of vertical angles, and then we proved uh, that one was congruent to angle three. So we're just doing the same thing except for two and four. We're doing the exact same thing. All right, so I got some linear pairs right here. So angle one and four make this straight line. They're a linear pair. Similarly, angles one and two make this straight line right here. So they're a linear pair also, definitions of linear pairs. Linear pairs add up to 180s because uh, linear pairs are supplementary. So if 1 and 4 are a linear pair, then 1 plus 4 equals 180. And since 1 and 2 are a linear pair, then 1 plus 2 equals 180. Now since they both equal 180 right here, what we're going to do is substitute in 1 plus 4 for this 180 right there. Okay, so that's what we did. We substituted in 1 plus 4 for the 180. Okay, and then right here, we're going to subtract. I'm going to subtract angle one from both sides. So if we subtract angle one from both sides, we're left with the measure of two equals the measure of angle four, subtraction property. We just subtracted off one on both sides. All right, they want us to put it in congruency. So we're just gonna say definition of congruency. If they're equal, then they're congruent to each other. Okay, so there's that right there. All right, you guys, hang in there. I know it's a drag right at the beginning, you guys, but you'll get better, I promise. Just don't give up. Just kind of think, okay, I sort of get it, I sort of get it. And if, if you're there on the sort of part, I am, I am tickled. I am happy. All right, take care, you guys.